continue on here and let's show you how to add the width and height to each of the sections. And what's going to do here is we're basically going to take our div sections that we created in the previous video and then we're going to basically add styles to it that control the width and height. So over here on the right we have our little sketch that I created and I have the different uh, width and height for each section so I'm going to have to have at least four styles that's going to control each of those sections. Okay, so what I want to do here is I'm going to come up here in my head section. I'm going to put in a style tag. This is going to be called an inline style. So what will happen is this anything you put in here will only apply to the page that you're on. You'll learn more about external style sheets where you'll automatically go in and apply styles to multiple pages, which is more efficient. In this case, I'm just going to make sure I have a style for this page so you can see what happens here. Now what I need to do is I need to indicate the style for each section. Since we're using the div tags and we're using ID to name each section, we have to basically indicate in our style section a little bit differently the style or the section that we're applying to. We do that by putting the pound sign in, followed by the name of the section. In this case it's called header. Followed by a curly bracket and then I can type in the information I want. So in this case I'll type in width equals 1024px, height equals, and it's colon. I like to use the word equals a lot of times because this is what it really indicates. So I'm, I'm indicating the style, then I'm putting in the property value. So you can see it, I'm going to put in a background color and this is uh, for your style it's just simply background hyphen color followed by a colon and then I'm going to put in a hexadecimal number and those are more specific for web I'm going to end it with a curly bracket so let's take a look here I'm going to save this I'm going to open up my browser and I'm going to click on refresh and you can see that there's this yellow section up here that's a certain width and a certain height so now what we have to do is for each of the sections automatically add the information that we need. So next one is my nav section. So I'm going to put in a pound sign, nav, curly bracket, same component here, width, colon, now this is going to be 160px, height is going to be 480. Now, if you want to see the section color, I'm just going to put in a background color. You don't have to do that. And with a curly bracket. And then I'm going to continue on. I'm going to put in the main section. and I'm going to put in my footer section. Now I already have it done on another page so I'm just copying and pasting over so I don't have to type in the code. So again all I'm doing is putting that information in just like I would see over here I'm putting the width and height in. Now if I want to add additional background colors so you can see the section let's do that. Now one of the things you can do also is just copy and paste. So if you want to use the same color or the same style you can copy and paste it down. Or you can just copy it down and then change the coding. Now I'm going to save this and then let's take a look in my browser the different sections. Now I'm going to maximize this so you can see this. You can see that the width of the yellow goes all the way over and it goes, that's going to go 1024. Now you will see that 
the navigation section doesn't go all the way across because we are controlling the height of that and the width to be a certain amount. Same thing with the main section and also the footer section down at the bottom. Now here's a little trick here and you'll learn more about this as you move into style sheets and positioning. If you want to move the welcome section up here to the to the right of the navigation so it takes up all this extra space in the white space, then here's what you do. You come into the nav section and you're going to add an option called float. And what that does, it's kind of like text wrap if you think about it, if you worked with text wrap before or wrap text, what it does is it floats the section to the left or to the right and it moves everything out afterwards to either side of it, depending on what you're going to do here. So in this case, it's going to move the, the main content to the right of the nav section. Watch what happens. See how it moves it over? Now you can go in and now it might be too close, the text might be too close and you might need to adjust other settings uh, on that and so that's where you kind of come back and you start experimenting. So in this case like in the the main section um, I might put in some padding. You know padding is the spacing uh, inside or actually let's do margin instead. The margin is the spacing between objects, objects on your page I'll put in 25 pixels. Let's see what happens there. See it moved down some, but it didn't move over to the right that much. So in this case, if I want to, I want to actually increase it a little bit. And so my width of my nav section is 160. So I need to at least go, I'm going to go 180 here. See how it moves it down and moves it to the right? Well, it moved it down. Why didn't it move it down? Because when you apply a margin, it's applying to all sides. So if you only want to apply it to one side, like for example, you just want to apply it to the left side, then you type in margin hyphen left. So when you use the word margin, it applies the same amount to the top, left, right, and bottom. And now we're just going to apply it to the left side. See now it's moved over, it's getting there, and of course the colors, you know, the, the section area is a little bit off, so we have to kind of control the width and height a little bit different there. But you get that basic understanding of what's going on. So what we're doing here is we're, we're basically setting up our style section to have the width and height to control. Now you do have to pay attention, especially if you're going to work with things side by side, and you have to understand with padding and margins that adds extra spacing. So uh, what you'll do is if you like, for example, margin. If you're going to add an extra margin, you might have to add a little. You might have to change the width a little bit as well, because that comes into the whole complete size. So here, what we did was we just took our div tags and we applied styles to those div tags. So hopefully that makes a little bit more sense. So that's what we're trying to control as we move forward is control the positioning. And there's other things you can do to each section, but we want to at least understand the basic concept first.